so I'm going to be doing an updated week in my life video as a cosmetology student. So today's Wednesday. I have three clients today. So I'm just in the car getting my mind together, getting my game plan together to tackle everybody. And they're back to back to back. So yeah. I don't mind taking three clients because I do want to build my endurance to, you know, do that when I get out of school. But it's just hard to think about now because, you know, we do everything we we do everything for free. And it's just like, ugh, I got three clients and I'm not, I'm, you know, might get a tip, might not get a tip. That's just the only thing that sucks about it, you know. But I understand that you, you know, building your skills and stuff. But I came in with skills already, so, you know, it's just a humbling experience. That's all I'm going to say on that. But, yeah, I'm just relaxing. My first client is at 11.15 and it's 10.30 now. I'm not going to, you know, stay in the car the whole time. I'm going to go back in. But I just wanted to come out and record this intro. <sighs> and, you know, get my mind together. So it's going to be, I already know it's going to be difficult to try to record and work at the same time. Because we can't have tripods and, you know, ring lights and stuff on the floor. That's another reason why I haven't, or I wasn't like doing at least a video every month because it's just so hard to record you know when you are already working and trying to find somewhere to set the phone up and all that it's just easier to record like an instagram reel or tiktok but not actually like a full youtube video but i'm gonna try it um I'm going to try, that's what I'm going to do when I go in. I'm going to try to go ahead and get my phone set up situation together and find somewhere where I can like, you know, got a good angle and everything. But yeah, today's going to be a good day. I'm going to be positive. And I already know at the three, so I have 11.15, I have a one o'clock and then I have a three. All of them so far, they're booked for bow dry style, so like silk presses. Um, that's a good range. I usually do mine about, you know, two hours ish, depending on you know how much hair the client has and if they want it like straight, they want it curled. I can usually just you know get it done in about two hours or so. So that's not a problem. All my clients that I have today are regulars, so I already know like the length of their hair and what type of hair they have. So that's also a good thing that I, you know, can already gauge and, you know, estimate about how long it's gonna take me to do everything. So, yeah, I'm not really worried or anything. But I'm probably not gonna check in I already know myself. I'm probably not even going to check in until, like, either it's time to go home. But if I don't check back in, I will definitely check in tomorrow. All right. So, this is one of my regular clients. Um, I think she came late. I can't remember, but I got behind. I think she was late. So, I ended up getting behind. And... <laughs> You're gonna see I had an hour to blow dry and flat on her hair. So at 1.30, okay, so <laughs> it took me 30 minutes to blow dry her hair because I used the round brush method. And when I say I flat out her hair in 30 minutes, I got done with everything so fast. So instead of having two hours, I think I had like you know, either an hour, 30 minutes, or like an hour, 20 minutes, somewhere around there to do it here. But when I say I was rolling <laughs> doing this, doing my fine hair, I was rolling. But yeah, she loved the end results and everything. So this is just the process. <laughs>
So I like to use the round brush method because it helps get it helps get the roots really smooth and sometimes with the comb attachment it's hard to get to the root especially if the hair is um, curlier or uh, coily so I do like the round brush method and I'm usually just I'm just using my Paul Mitchell flat ends.
time I watched this part, I just crack up because why did I, why did I snap it at the back? Like usually when you put those on, I thought you snapped them in the front. I just was like, every time I go back and watch this, I just be like, what? why did I do it? <laughs> regular but she actually wasn't I thought she was my regular because her name looked familiar but what happened was they accidentally booked that client on me they got our names mixed up I don't know whatever because my name don't sound nothing like the other girl's name but they got our names mixed up but I ended up still doing her and I was just annoyed because she wanted me to do her hair and use the same exact stuff that the other student used and I'm like ain't no way it's gonna be exactly the same because we're two different people and I mean I'm cool with using the same products I understand that but she didn't even know what the products were so she would be like well are you gonna put this stuff it's in a blue bottle are you gonna do this put this on my hair and I'm like ma'am I was just like it's too late i already used something that was similar to that you know like I, I wasn't she wanted she just basically wanted me to do everything exactly the same as the other lady or as the other she just wanted me to do everything exactly the same as the other student and that really annoyed me because you either trust me to do your hair or you don't if you want if you really wanted that other student to do your hair that's fine just come back another day and make sure you book her and not me. I'm telling you. But yeah, it's the end of the day. I'm about to go home. I'm leaving early. We're supposed to get out at 5 o'clock, but I didn't take a lunch. So I'm finna zoom off this parking lot and they're gonna see me tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay, hey, today is Thursday. I was supposed to be in class today. We were supposed to be having class. But when I walked in, when I walked in, the front desk told me that they had me a client because it was a refinement of, um, I guess some other student did it and it didn't turn out right. So the lady wanted somebody that was in phase two and I guess the front desk just picked me to do it. So I got a client. Um, right now she's um, processing for about 35 minutes and then I'm gonna go in, I'll wash her and finish the style the service out. But yeah, I'm just, told I was gonna go on a 15 minute break. When it comes to the car, drink some water. I was not expecting to have a client today. Well, I mean, at least not early, because usually they give me a client, but it's at 2.30 when our class is out. But I guess since we really not doing, like, I think in class we weren't really doing, like, I don't know, learning the skill. It was um finance class, I think. It's a class about finances and managing your money and stuff. So I guess they was like, you know, I can miss that. Apparently this week is spirit week. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I knew that, you know, on Thursdays we dress out. So today dress out is rats versus Barbie. And my outfit is just screaming brat. But I dressed out in all black. Like my outfit is still all black. So I don't have to pay. <laughs> But I'm in a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
she wants a silk press. I've been doing silk press all week, I feel like, because I did. Well, I only did one full silk, silk press. No, I did two yesterday, but, you know, the second lady just, I mean, no, the third lady. Yeah, she's pissed me off. But anyways, I still be back in there checking on her, so I'm going to go back in and check on her. Bye. So I actually recorded me doing the color um, retouch, like the color correction, but it would not download to my computer. I don't know. So I didn't add it in, but I already did her blow dry in the flat iron off camera. And I'm just going in and curling it, doing like loose curls because that's what she wanted. And she loved her end results. And now she's one of my regular clients. this I just went back to class and just chill for the rest of the day <sighs> okay so it's Thursday no it's Friday and I have two clients today I have a client at 12 o'clock it's the color and the silk press I think and then and then I have a client at three o'clock and I think that's just like a wash and blow dry. So yeah, it's 10.20 now. I think I'm about to go. Yeah, so I think I'm about to go get something to eat. I just want something quick, like maybe like a Starbucks sandwich or something. I don't know. But I'm going to enjoy these, well, it's really like an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to enjoy this hour and 30 minutes before I have to do, uh, before I have to work. So yeah. I wanted to work on my wig. I have, I sell wigs, y'all. So, I wanted to work on one of the, like my custom wigs I make. But I don't think, I'm not gonna, I won't gonna be done with it before 12 o'clock. 
and I don't like stopping. I like to like work on it like full and through. So if I have a cancellation, if my three o'clock don't come, I'm probably gonna work on that when I finish my 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, so about that break I was talking about, it didn't happen. My classmate texted me and asked me to do her a prime rod set before my client came. And my client at 12 o'clock ended up no showing. So it worked out fine. So I was still able to get, you know, content for the video because this was my last day recording. Saturday, I didn't have any storage on my phone. <laughs>
Okay, so this is the final result after I took out all her wires. She loved it, and I thought it was so cute. I love natural hair, so this was really pretty. I love doing perm wire sets and stuff. And I also inserted a clip um, of outside because inside it was the tones were kind of weird. But yeah, that's the final result. This is my last client for the day, and I was not expecting her to have all that hair, honey. But it was cute. I love dealing with like heads full of hair because not everybody has the patience too and I do so they love giving me people who have hair down to their butt but anyways I just did a wash and blow dry on her she left with her hair blow dried and um I also did trim yeah I also trimmed her so the video ended during her trim but I did insert two photos of when she came back two weeks later for another appointment and this appointment was a silk press so I made sure I inserted those photos so you can see what the final result would look like.
so this pretty much sums up the video i just want to say thank you to my new subscribers and my new viewers just say thanks um make sure you like comment subscribe and share my video um leave in the comments any questions that you have that you want me to answer and i'll see you in my next one bye